Hi, I'm Daphne Richards. Our question this week is about why plants turn to the sun. Some plants this is more noticeable than others. The most striking example may be sunflowers, whose sunny faces can be seen to move ever so slowly across the horizon perfectly in step with the sun's arc. If you're an aspiring plant nerd and you want to impress your friends with your amazing botanical knowledge, this phenomenon is known in scientific terms as heliotropism. And along with its scientific name, there's a highly scientific explanation for how certain plants achieve this somewhat amazing feat of movement. Basically, certain cells in the plant, in sunflowers, those are at the base of the flower stalk, respond to the blue wavelength of sunlight by changing the water pressure in those basal cells, allowing the cells to stretch and turn. This maximizes the plant's ability to capture sunlight, and so it maximizes photosynthesis. But there are also times when plants want less sun, so heliotropism also allows those plants to change the orientation of their leaves to avoid the harshest rays when the sun's directly overhead. That's amazing. Our plant this week is firecracker fern, Rucellia equisetiformis. Although often evergreen, firecracker fern may freeze to the ground in winter, as it did this year in our garden but it is reliably perennial in central Texas, returning easily from the roots and also producing new growth from those roots and spreading to about three feet wide. It's listed as getting four feet tall, but the lazy drooping growth habit will make it seem much shorter. The stems are not strong enough to support their length, so they droop over, creating a lovely cascading effect that's well suited for raised beds and other overhanging spaces. When young, the plants have small, almost round leaves tucked in tightly along the thin green stems. As the plant matures, though, these leaves become insignificant and even drop off, leaving the stem to conduct photosynthesis and feed the plant. Covered in bright pink to deep red flowers all summer long, firecracker fern makes a stunning addition to any garden, especially when shown off next to highly contrasting colors like our beautiful native limestone blocks, often used to build retaining walls and raised beds. Although it may freeze back in the winter, firecracker fern almost laughs at our crazy hot, dry central Texas summers, and it's very drought tolerant and water conserving, making it perfect for bright, xeriscaped areas of the garden. This plant will be covered in blooms from late spring through summer, and the tubular red flowers are well loved by hummingbirds. Shearing back the stems once flowers are spent will encourage more blooming and a heavier shearing in late winter back to about six inches or all the way to the ground if there was complete winter dieback will thoroughly reinvigorate this aggressive grower. Our viewer pick this week comes from James and Shirley of their gorgeous wildflower prairie, a certified Texas wildscape in Blanco, which reminds us that to do in your garden this week, it's time to think about where you might like to start a patch of wildflowers and maybe even order your seed since you'll need to be ready for fall planting in just a couple short months. We'd love to hear from you, so please visit us at klru.org ctg to send us your questions and pictures from your garden.